Hey, what's going on, man? Tyler here for Foul Pole to Foul Pole. We've got another video for you. Today, we're going to be talking about college recruiting. More importantly, talking about emails. Check it out. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're talking about emails today, right? The number one thing, make sure you're sending the right email to the right coach. Yeah, you don't want to be trying to send Coach Smith an email and you actually send it to Coach Williams or vice versa, okay? Make sure the recipient of your email is who you intended to go to. You don't want to send out these copy and paste emails and you end up getting confused trying to send it to Auburn and end up sending it to Stanford or wherever, right? Make sure you have the right person on there. Utilize the CC as well, the carbon copy. Say we have, um, say you're a pitcher and you want to send it to the head coach and you know that the assistant coach is also the pitching instructor or the pitching coach for the staff, or whatever, either put them on the, or the two line and you know, or CC them. Make sure they're getting that same email. Okay. Um, it does, the more people you can send it to in the decision making department, the better off you're going to be. Right. Now, I'm not talking about sending it to some grad assistant that, you know, has no, no bearing on the decision making, but uh, make sure you're sending it to the coaches that you need it to go to. Okay. So that two line, really, really important as we're talking about this. Uh, so let's just say, uh, write email at gmail.com. Now the subject line, the subject line <laughs> is your thumbnail to your email. If your subject line doesn't grab my attention, if your subject line doesn't make people want to open that email, they're not going to. These coaches get inundated with emails and messages, not only from potential student athletes, but they're getting it from uh, their commitments. They're getting it from all over the place. You know, they have a they're they have a normal life as well. They're going to get random emails into their inbox. OK, so they just you don't want it to get lost. Remind yourself that if you look on your phone at an email, that subject line is short. There's not a whole lot of space on there that shows up on your phone. Right. It's it's smaller. It's tighter. OK, that's that's where these coaches are getting most of their emails. Right. They get them quick. The phone dings. They're looking at it. They're going through it. They can do it at home. They got it. So let's make it easier on them to get to the meat and potatoes of our message. So first and foremost, what I got to put on there, I got to put my daggone name on there, right? So if I don't have my name on there, they're not going to know who I am. I get it. I can see your email address, but put your name in the subject line as well. All right, so Susie Smith, let's start separating um, our key components to our subject line. There's not a whole lot of characters that we can put in here. So I have to make sure her and I, or he and I, are talking the same language. So whatever acronym that I'm using, whatever abbreviations that I'm using, they need to be universal. Your very first position is going to be your primary position to get them to look at you and start comparing you to what they have on their staff, okay? So when you put pitcher on there, immediately they're gonna think in the, either in the forefront or the back of their mind, the pitchers that they have on staff or the pitchers that they're trying to recruit or the pitchers they have committed. So boom, it goes into their head. If we put shortstop here, what do you think they're doing? They're thinking about you versus the ones we have or the ones that are already committed. What if I am a pitcher slash shortstop? Boom, that's it. We can go class of either before or after. A lot of people would tell you to go ahead and put it before. To me, they're going to see that. If those three kind of go together, the name, position, and year. They go together. So ever how you want to do that, you can put it before, you can put it after, but if we put it after, let's go something like this. We could go there. And then we can get into, put your GPA on there. They need to know right away. They need to know if you can even qualify. Every school is going to have their certain requirements, whether it's LSU, Alabama, Florida, NC State, Washington. Their, that softball program has a standard of this GPA or the school might have this standard of, of this GPA. So boom, this is pretty easy, pretty standard. They're giving, you're giving them the information right off the rip here. My name, my position, my grad year, and my GPA. H to one, home to first, whatever that could be. Let's, let's go, whatever, whatever your time is, let's put 3.5 on there. Exit velocity, 72. Pretty standard, right? They can see it right away. My name, my position, the year I graduate, my GPA, the things I want them to know, okay? My home to first is, is 3.5 seconds. My exit velocity is 72. We'll revisit this subject line in just a minute. I'm going to show you. Hey, 
Coach Jones. Now, there's different times to write different emails. So not every email needs to be written just like I'm writing this one. This one is going to be written as I'm coming to a prospect camp. So what they can expect here, Susie Smith is coming. She's a pitcher and a, and a shortstop. She's coming to our prospect camp. She's a 2025. Kid's pretty smart. She's got a 3.8 GPA. I want to see her run that 3.5 seconds to first. And uh, when she hits today, I'm going to check out this uh, 72. Again, put your name on there. This is three times they're seeing your name. My name is Susie Smith. If somebody either hears or sees someone's name at least three times, it's easier for them to put it to memory. And you're going to see where you're going to put your name a few different times. All right. Okay. Pretty, pretty simple, right? And then you put on here, you, you can fill this up, make them feel good. I'm looking forward to working with your with your coaching staff. I'm looking forward to showcase my skills. I'm looking forward to get on campus, not only for the camp, but also walk around tour to see if it's a good fit for me. Um, I'm walk, I can't wait to get there to see if I'm a good fit for the team. Um, however you want to put that out there, there's no specific words that I can tell you that's going to make them say yes or no to you. Before we put that, hey, Jones, or hey, Coach Jones, okay? Let's take this and move this down just a little bit, okay? Before we get into hey this, hey that, whatever this, whatever that, let's go ahead and put a link. Link one, link two. So whenever you go to put a link in, okay, make sure whenever you go to put a hyperlink in in your email, the text to display. Here's your name again, Susie Smith batting work okay and then whatever your link is whether it's a sports recruits whether it's on your um youtube page whatever a direct link is now when i'm talking about a direct link i'm not talking about i click on something you're sending me somewhere else i'm not talking about doing that i don't want to have to keep clicking links to get to this video i'm trying to watch i need to click that link boom it's open okay got one called Susie batting work we could do um we could put work out. So look, look what, we're, look what we see here. Another Susie Smith. That's another time. So we have your email address, your subject line. We have two links that have your name on it. And then we also have, my name is Susie Smith. There's five times right there that your name is there. I am excited, right? Excited. When you see the word excited, you get excited. Okay. I am excited looking forward to okay these are projecting emotions okay exciting looking forward happy i am happy to inform you kind of feel that emotion right there's empathy there all right so my name is susie smith i am eager i am looking forward to the prospect camp this weekend. Cannot wait to get on campus. Cannot wait to get to the facility and be able to, to meet you, to be able to learn some things, to be able to showcase, to be able to experience, to be able to take it all in. Whatever you are, this is a way for you to show your personality. Not a whole lot of lines, just something that's personal to you. I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to get there. This, that, and the other. All you're doing with this email is notifying them. That's it. They know you're coming, that you've already filled out a registration form. This is just to, to make sure they know you're coming, right? Also, you know your little player profile sheets? You can attach it to your email. So when they look at the attachment, there again is your name on that. Your email address that you're sending it to, make sure it's accurate. Your subject line, there's a lot of play you can have in here, okay? Make it who you are. Video links video links. Anytime you can send a video that is showcasing your skill set to a coach, do it. Whether you're thanking them, whether you're uh, informing them you're coming, if you're just wishing them a happy holiday, send them a video link. Not long, not, you know, 30 minutes long of your work. I don't need to see that whole thing. I need to see, you know, maybe eight, 10 seconds of it. Okay. This girl is working. Maybe you sent up some game footage. Hey, Coach Jones, my name is Susie Smith. I'm um, happy to inform you that I'll be coming to your elite prospect camp October 15th. 
I'm looking forward to not only meeting you, but the rest of the coaching staff and your team. I hope I have a chance to showcase my skill set and learn as much as I can from you guys. I grew up in Conway, South Carolina. I've been the starting catcher for the last year, or I'm trying out this year for the varsity team. I play my uh, travel ball with X, Y, and Z club. Put your profile sheet on there. Underneath there, give them ways they can find you. Your social media page. Make sure your links are down there. So in your signature, thank you. Have a nice day. Happy holidays. Go Cougars, comma. Go down two lines. Susie Smith, your phone, your phone number. Again, your email address. Whatever social media you have out there where they can find your stuff, they can click on it. Maybe they do follow you. Put your Twitter on there. Put your Insta on there. But any way they can get to you, if you have a sports recruits, if you have whatever, make sure they have that. It's all there save for them. Once you send that out, don't just rest on it, okay? Make yourself a note. On this day, at this time, I emailed Coach so-and-so from this school. The next time you send them an email, go back and revisit the email you sent before. Go back and revisit that one, okay? I sent Coach Jones this email on October 10th, letting her know I'm coming on October 15th. October 17th, maybe the 18th, I need to thank them for having me at their prospect camp to follow up. You're going to send them maybe the same links again. That's cool. If you want to send them the same links, maybe some different links. Maybe the picture that you took with her or him at that prospect camp. So now we're putting faces to these names. So let's follow up so that they're seeing your name again. You got that picture you took with them. Now we're putting name to face. And then there's a memory of you at that camp. So from the 10th to the 18th, right around a week, we have sent them our initial email. We have gone to their camp. And now we have sent them a follow-up email. It's not going to get you a a scholarship. It's not going to get you an offer. It's not going to get you a commitment. It's not going to get you to sign. But what that does is that starts the ball rolling. doesn't matter if you're sending it to a JUCO. doesn't matter if you're sending it to D2, D3, D1. It doesn't matter. You follow this method being short and sweet and professional, you may not hear back from them. You may not You may not get a response. Now, you can take this information and, and don't do it. Be like, hey, this dude was talking about it. Um, I've never heard doing it that way. Uh, I'm going to continue doing it my way. Awesome. Do that. But if you know somebody that would like this information, or if you're just starting out this recruiting process and you don't know how important the emails are, this is a good place for you to start. If this is nothing more than something that gets your gears turning, about how to write emails, then I've done my job. If you share this with one person, or if you put a like on it, or if you comment, I've done my job. I appreciate you guys tuning in for this one. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Please do. really helps me out. We're building this channel up. Black Diamond has a, the channels at 18,000 subs. We're still less than 200 subs on the Foul Pool to Foul Pool channel because it's only been out for a couple of months. But help me spread this word if you would, please. If you share this with a friend, make sure you tell them you love them.